This car might look like a shoebox on wheels, but it's faster than the Dodge Viper and pretty much any other sports car on the road today. And it's all electric. I'm Michael Canellis with Green Tech Media, and we're going to take out the Tango from Commuter Car. The Tango is the world's narrowest uh, car, and the purpose of the car is to fit in half a lane on the freeway to double lane capacity. The Tango tries to combine two ideas into one. One, it's an electric commuter car for urban dwellers that have to drive on crowded streets and park in tiny spaces. Two, it's also got the performance for sports car fanatics. The car actually has two, not one, electric motors inside. That allows it to go from zero to 60 in four seconds. Uh, the motors are just advanced DC, nine inch motors. They're off the shelf motors used in forklifts and probably those. Uh, uh, DC you know, the ones DC? No, these are DC. Yeah. A brute force. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they don't have the finesse of AC for regen, which I'd like regen. If we could fit AC in here, I'd love to do it. We don't have the engineering budget right now. And that'd be the main thing. Yeah, I would love to have four wheel drive, uh, so hub motors in every wheel, uh, regen braking. I mean, it would be perfect, but it's a lot of money and we just aren't that, we don't have that budget. Everything we've done here has been done with about a million dollars of capital. The car also has a NASCAR-like roll cage inside. The battery's on the floor, therefore it's pretty tough to tip over and it handles really well around corners. This has actually four times more steel door protection bars than the largest SUV, the really? Ford Excursion. Yeah, it's exactly. But where, is in the door, the panel yeah, itself? Yeah, there's actually, inside the door, there's a factory door bar, right? We had a bar across the top, one across the bottom, and two vertical, and they're tied in with these pins here, which go into a race car roll cage. So, so this roll like cage, cage is the same is... thing that people crash every single weekend at 200 miles an hour and they walk out of them. Okay, this seat can go all the way back here. And then a six foot six person or larger can sit in the front and you can mm -hmm. see I have tons of room here. Yeah, your knees are coming out, but it's not really interfering yeah, with the driver. No, it it's not really, at all. I mean, it's better than an airplane seat where you're, yeah. you can't get your knees around it. You grab this handle, push it to the side to pull back the seat. And once you're there, Voila, the cup holder. Commuter Cars is right now shipping the Tango in small volumes. The one I'm driving around here is actually owned by George Clooney. Sergey Brin, the Google founder, has three of them already. What's the catch? Well, right now, because it's got two motors in it and a lot of batteries, these cost $108,000. However, the company is going to come out with versions with one motor and with different kinds of batteries, and they hope to get the price down to the $20,000, $30,000 range. There's even hopes that one day a car like this could cost $10,000. Explore it when you take off, see it. <laughs> That's incredible! I'm up to, okay, I'm up to 50, I've doubled the speed limit in a few seconds. Well. You know, the great thing about electric cars, you don't get that... that sound of power from the engine. I mean, you're just zipping along, which is... Some people like that throaty sound of gas engine. Not me, I like the electric. So what's the, what's the bottom line? Well, one thing, it's really, really expensive. But two, it's a lot of fun to drive, you get to sit like Bob Sledders, and everyone stares at you. I think George is gonna like it. I'm Michael Canellis with Green Tech Media.